The race for mayor in San Francisco became even more crowded today as a San Francisco native and City Hall outsider officially filed his paperwork. KTV's Christian Captain joins us live tonight from City Hall with more on the story. Christian? Yeah, San Francisco's mayor is now facing another challenger for her office. Daniel Lurie formally announced his candidacy today. Before a packed house in San Francisco's Potrero Hill, Daniel Lurie announced that he is officially in the race to lead San Francisco, running for mayor in 2024. Lurie says the city has thrown money at homelessness, drug use and crime, but they seem to be issues current leaders can't resolve. This is not a crisis of resources. This is a crisis of leadership. You the heir to the Levi's fortune says his experience leading the nonprofit Tipping Point aimed at tackling poverty has given him the tools to cut through San Francisco's notorious bureaucracy. I have a, a track record of bringing diverse teams together, diverse groups together, and getting big things done for the people of San Francisco. Lurie joins a crowded field with 29 candidates now having declared their intention to run for mayor. District 11 Supervisor Asha Safai announced his candidacy in May. Safety also topping his list of concerns. On the steps of City Hall Tuesday, he proposed an ordinance calling on San Francisco's police chief to increase foot and bike patrols throughout the city to combat crime. He says the problems start at the top. And everyday San Franciscans talk about the crime that they're experiencing in the city and what we're missing is leadership. We're, what we're missing is leadership from the mayor's office. For her part, the city's current mayor, London Breed, Tuesday backed new legislation requiring drug users to seek treatment in order to receive general assistance benefits. Mayor Breed says she knows that some won't like the new plan. But she says it's critical the city change things up, and that begins with accountability. While more work is needed, she says her administration is making progress. We've helped almost 10,000 people exit homelessness. These would be people that would otherwise be on our streets. Now, San Franciscans will have more than a year to make their decision about the uh, next mayor. Uh, voters uh, approved Proposition H last year, which moved the dates of the city's mayoral election to align with presidential election years. That is expected to boost the number of voters selecting the next mayor. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kafton, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Christian, San Franciscans usually vote, you know, to promote from within City Hall. You know, I'm wondering if political insiders actually think an outsider of city government, even with a Lurie name, you know, can win the office. Well, that's the, the $64,000 yeah. question, isn't it, Mike? At this point, no one knows. Uh, he, uh, the, the talk in the room was that he seemed to be a strong candidate, but uh, of course it's going to take some time to see how he tests out, uh, how his uh, press appearances go. Uh, what his policy directives are. We, we asked for some specifics today and didn't get a lot of specifics right away. So once we start getting down to the nitty gritty, the voters get their say, uh, perhaps we'll see uh, a little bit more about how this race might shape up. Right? Yeah, 2024, no doubt an interesting year there in San Francisco. Christian Captain live in the city. Christian, thank you.